you guessed it. Back at it again. Another little project today. Welcome back to sunny and beautiful Japan in the autumn. Look at that. Look at that sky, man. This is what we call post-typhoon weather. We just came through a typhoon here in Japan. Of course, it was raining and windy like crazy, but now it brings in this kind of beautiful weather and it's, um, it's just warm and sunny again. So enjoying it and I thought it would work a little bit on the uh, S15 today. Got a couple of things I want to do. Come with me, let's go, come on. So the thing about this car is, um, as I've mentioned before, you know, it does have a lot of little imperfections um, with the way that it looks. Uh, and so next up are these disgusting wiper arms. Get a load of these. So they're like super oxidized and like turning white. And then of course they're rusting a bit where there's no longer any paint. So what I want to do is remove these and uh, give them a lick of paint. And uh, hopefully they look a lot better. And we'll do the rear one as well. Honestly, it looks just as bad as the front ones. First one's off, job done. It took me a little more work than I thought it was going to actually. I had to give it a pretty strong tug to get it to come off. I didn't want to break anything, but uh, yeah, so if you're doing this yourself, just know you're gonna have to give it a pretty good pull to get it off. <laughs> one down, two to go. Okay, I got the second one off, and uh, I wasn't filming it because the level of physical exertion was just too much for me. Had to take a break, but I ended up just using this wrench and kind of leveraging it under here and working it up. Uh, yeah, eventually came off, which is great. And I think if uh, any of you are thinking to do this like me, um, you might have the same problem, which is that it gets quite rusted under here, and I think that's why it was semi-seized. <laughs> like everything I do on here, I, I don't really have much experience with this kind of stuff. Uh, just messing around and figuring it out as I go. I figure it can only get better from here. <laughs> so uh, gonna get to work with a bit of sanding. Got some 400 grit sandpaper right here. Uh, just a bit of a wet sand and uh, prepping it for paint. Let's see how it goes. Okay, they're all sanded down now. And so I'm just gonna give them a a last cleaning off with some isopropyl alcohol, and then uh, we'll get spraying. Good morning, friends. It's the next day. So I uh, finished up kind of late last night. Things were dark, so I didn't really film any of that stuff, but it took a bit longer than I thought, just with um, all of the waiting in between, spraying the different coats, waiting for them to dry. Um, but here we are just checking out the handiwork now this morning. Have a look. Looking pretty nice if I do say so myself. Look at that beautiful uniform matte black. Nice, nice, nice. Actually painted this piece too. It was like white before. Now it's looking a nice black.
All right, we're all done. So that should be the finished product. And um, they line up nicely with my little uh, tape markers for position. Um, I actually had the wiper blades on the wrong arm, so just swapped those and, uh, yeah, you know, you're just figuring it out as we go along. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Looks pretty good, yeah? And, uh, you know, even if this paint doesn't really hold up, I'm okay with that. <laughs> it already looks about 10 times better than it did before, so, you know, it really couldn't have gotten any worse from the start, so, um, yeah, all in all, I'd say pretty, uh, pretty easy, pretty cheap fix. Only cost me about ten bucks, so good enough for me. Okay, now it's time for the pilot run. What do you think? Perfection. Flawless victory. And how about the rear? Looks about right to me. Sweet. All right, guys, I think that's it. I think we're done. I'm satisfied. Catch you next time. See ya.